Hey guys, we're going to be going for a re-clear on level 99 Clash of Wills. Um, this is going to be like somewhat of a budget clear. Not like super extreme budget, but it is going to be a lot cheaper than my earlier clear where I OTK'd it with like Noctis and all. Um, we're not going for a high score yet. This is like just a clear for those of you to get a level 99 clear in and get all the personal rewards. Uh, and of course you can use the same strategy on lower level difficulties as well. Um, so first of all, we're not using any modifiers. We don't want any um, any bonuses or anything uh, to make the boss harder. That's for high score. That'll come later. We're going to work on that um, probably tomorrow. Uh, but this is just going to be like a budget clear. So first of all, the boss is a human and fairy. Weak to fire, light, also dark and wind. You want to avoid the other four elements because that'll um, make the boss do some really dangerous stuff. So don't do like ice, lightning, water, earth. You want to never guard anyone. And you also want to, um, if you're having trouble with the fight, try to avoid using limit burst as well because from, from what I can tell, using LBs makes her buff herself up and stuff. So um, not using any kind of limit burst at all will be a little bit safer, kind of like the Elf Off the Shelf Chamber of Vengeance, you know, the boss counterattacks Limit Burst. So we're going to avoid those in this clear. Um, some other tricks is, uh, make sure your whole team is very bulky, especially to physical damage, if you're not using, like, multiple stacks of Mirage or Evasion. Because um, the boss uses an attack, I forget what it's called, like Cruel something or other. It targets the lowest health person, it ignores Provoke, and it's a pretty powerful physical attack. So if you're not evading on your team, um, make sure they're really bulky against physical damage. Uh, so um, the team is going to be Beatrix, uh, base form, just you know some generic stuff. And if if you can fit it, you want to give um, auto protect and auto shell to your whole team, just for the safety factor. I recommend. Um, but her shift form is what's really important. A little bit of spirit, uh, some fire, ice, some all all resistances. Uh, we're gonna use buffs as well. She's probably got more than she needs here. I probably should give her more HP, but uh, I think resistances are a little bit easier to gear here. Also, we're using cheap gears. We're not using any STMR, so it's actually a little bit harder to gear her. But um, there it is. You know, she's going to be our carpet tank. Uh, Lotus Fina is going to be for buffing. She's going to be buffing everything pretty much. Mitigation, resistance, mana regen, healing, status immunity, stop immunity. All of that comes from Lotus Mage Fina. Um, she's got 20k HP and um, 800 defense, which is going to be useful. You also want some dark resist from the party. The boss does an attack that bypasses cover. It deals dark damage, so dark resist is helpful. Uh, Gilgamesh can be our breaker. Um, we're, we're using the level 1 Celestite Helm of Will because it casts morale fill every single turn. Um, you know, you, you get enough crystals to buy the fir first rank, like, right away, so everyone can, can afford that. Stick it on someone for, for auto morale every turn. Um, thousand needles just for some you know mirage every now and then shift form same thing a lot of bulk he's going to be our breaker and imperil the boss cures her debuffs quite often and this is going to be helpful to deal with that uh, starlight elena now this is why i said it's not entirely budget she's a little tricky to build here um, it is an older unit i chose her for that reason but she is full evasion and passive provoke so i am cheating with an stmr i'm using the doran doll this is one of the better stmrs in the game you know you might want to consider getting it if you want. It's not, you know, it's not required or anything. But yeah, she's full evasion, passive provoke. She's going to be our tank. Now the boss does a death attack on your tank every now and then as well. I don't know how often it is. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go without death immunity to try to boost damage a little bit. But her damage is going to be very bad, and we're not using the shift form. Um, NVA Elena is going to mostly be carrying the fight. She has morale skills. She was given free to everyone, so we're going to use her. Uh, she's got some spirit and human killer and some bulk again 20k HP 800 defense uh, 300 human 275 fairy and she's not using any STMRs. I mean this is all cheap gear except for her own which you obviously have because it was given for free and yeah there we go a little bit of dark resist and then Ignis is going to be just a support um, remember I mentioned the four elements we want to use uh, technically we could use light element but the boss buffs light resist every now and then but she doesn't he doesn't she doesn't buff fire resist. We're going with a fire team. Uh, Ignis is going to imbue us with fire and then do backup, buffing, support, etc. We're not going to shift him, so I didn't bother gearing that. And again, he's got, um, you know, uh, uh, a wisdom of Hess for, for auto, auto buffs. 
and that's the team. It's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be a slow clear. Um, you know, it's gonna be a lot slower than using like you know Noctis and all that to blow it up. But that's that kind of you know I wanted to show all the mechanics and all. Now, if if you click on the morale gauge, it'll show you a lot of details. This was pointed out to me, including what all these icons do. So thanks to everyone in the comments of YouTube as well as on Discord that explained to me how morale works. Um, you can click on the gauge and get all this information. It's actually really well explained. I just I just never knew to click on the gauge. I just didn't know, but now I do. So here's all the information about morale. You can even click the help button for a very detailed tutorial. So if you're wondering more about morale, you know, check it out in game like that. Uh, but anyway, the boss ambushes with an AOE in peril and break. So we're going to use Elena to first of all, in the shift form, crystal refragmentation to cure all that. And then we're going to do beloved heroin to start filling the morale in our favor. Uh, we're currently at 70% and the boss has 130. We want to get that back onto our side to power up our Elena. Uh, Starlight Elena on this first turn is just going to Stella Marie. We're not really going to try to do too much. Ignis is going to cook and enhancement so we can do um, fire imbue next turn. Lotus Fina will give us some buffs with blooming and enduring. Gilgamesh will shift. And we're going to break the boss. Make sure you don't use the Gilgamesh's attacks that deal um, like thunder damage and all because that would be a bad thing. And then Beatrix is going to shift. And we're going to cover and put up Shelga. By casting buffs and all, it helps push the morale into our favor. You see how the morale is in the yellow? At the end of the turn, it's going to go that way. And we're pushing the morale to our side of the screen. Which is what, which is what we want to see. Alright, so the boss buffed up. Did some attacks. We're covering it with Beatrix, who has lots of resistance. Not a problem. And the boss is going to cure her debuffs, which is quite annoying. But that's okay. We're going to use Gilgamesh to reapply the debuffs. Um, we're going to use Ignis here to... Let's see. We're going to use Ignis to Enhancement Fire. And we're going to do a... Um, hmm. Not entirely sure. Let's do a Lasagna for better resistance buffs. We're going to use Fina to Divine Veil and Manitopia. Now, I know Divine Veil like doesn't do anything because we're using Ignis' buffs instead. But... Um, and we'll do this. I, I, I'm using lots of buffs and resistances to push that morale gauge on our side. All right, and then we're gonna start um, chaining. Now, I don't want to do any limit burst. Like technically, Elena's LB powers her up. I do not want to use LB because that, like I said, that will make the boss get real mad and start doing mean things to us. So we're gonna just do this. Um, let's crystal refraction and double blade of salvation and start dealing some damage. Now, our Starlight Elena with her Evasion, Pass, or Provoke gear is doing absolutely terrible damage. The old Elena, which was New Visions Awakened, is definitely carrying the fight. And once the Morale Gauge does get into our favor on the positive side, our Elena will start doing a lot more damage with her Morale skills. But for the moment, we are just slowly working on it. Alright, let's have Ignis do some buffs again. Let's do Golden Tail. And let's do a um, a reinforcement. Let's have Fina cast Divine Veil and um, Enduring. We'll have Beatrix just cover and Shelga again. Uh, we got to break the boss again. The, the boss keeps curing her debuffs. I don't know what triggers the debuff cure. It's it's quite obnoxious <laughs> to be completely honest here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and even. Um, Let's do a Piercing Prism for a Sword in Peril for even more damage. Now that's a Magnus that'll, um, we don't have infinite uses of that, so I probably shouldn't use it so early in the fight. But, eh, okay, let's, let's push damage anyway. Alright, so the morale is now in our favor, finally. Now the boss is going to start doing some, you know, big attacks and all. But the more we push that morale, the more Elena is going to start doing more damage. Now you see how the boss is pushing it back towards her side? There's Cruel Retribution that I mentioned earlier, um, but we're evading it on our Provoker. So let's go ahead and reload this, but I don't want to do... Um, let's do Crystal Refraction and then Double Blade. Uh, Ignis, let's see here. A Dream View Fire. And we need to do... Um, let's do a Cooking again so it stays unlocked. We'll just repeat these. Yeah, Fina is great for this because she really pushes that Morale Gauge um, to our side pretty well. Uh, Ig Gilgamesh, let's go ahead and do this with Gilgamesh, just to break. 
And let's deal some damage with our DPS. Did the boss cure her sword in peril? Oh, no, she didn't, surprisingly. I'm not entirely sure what triggers the boss to cure her debuffs. Alright, so the morale is 116 in our favor at this point. Alright. Um, and the boss is going to start dealing some AoE physicals pretty soon. I, I don't know when specifically. I did a practice run earlier. There's Cruel Retribution. It's trying to hit our low HP evasion, Elena. Yeah, that's a real helpful here. If you can make an evasion unit with very low HP, it'll, like, draw those cruel intentions towards them, and they will evade them. It is very nice to have that have that happen. All right. Um, that's not ready yet. I don't want to do this yet. Uh, this is all. Let's go ahead and do a thousand needles. Um, Lotus Mage Fina. Let's have her do a blooming... And a Manitopia. We don't, we don't really need Manitopia, quite honestly. So let's do Blooming. And let's just keep casting Divine Veil for that big, um, those big buffs. Uh, let's do an Enhancement and a Golden Tail Soup. Uh, Beatrix can just repeat. And yeah, let's just keep pushing that morale all the way over. Okay, below 40%. So the boss gets gets a little more dangerous here, but, you know, we're, we're pushing on it. And if you, if you see here, um, look at the top of the screen, the player is getting stat buffs, and the boss has lost her stat buffs, which is real nice, because the morale is on our side. Uh, there's True Omniscience. Okay, True Omniscience, when the boss does that, you really got to deal with that. You see how the morale went way to the right with that yellow, that yellow gauge? Um, True Omniscience really pushes it in the boss's favor. She does it, like, every five-ish turns. Um, and yeah, she starts doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, it gets, it gets, it gets painful. Alright, so we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take a moment to, to deal with this. So we're gonna shift to the support form of our Elena. We're gonna do a crystal refragmentation, and we're gonna do Beloved Heroine to push that morale back on our side again. Um, Ignis is going to Lasagna. And let's do a reinforcement. Again, trying to just push that morale as far as we can to our side. Let's do a... Whoop, not that. Uh, let's do a revitalizing. Let's just do some attacks here. Uh, the boss did not buff up. That's good. All right, so we're going to break again. We're, try, we're trying to do as many like buffs and all as we can to push that morale all the way back to our side. Yep, we've, for the most part, done it. All right, now Lotus Fina will... Let's Enduring, and let's go ahead and Manitopia for the Starlight, I guess. And okay, so so we have counteracted the True Omniscient, so I think we got five more turns until she does it again, I believe. Um, but the boss is going to start doing some dangerous attacks now. So, also she gains some defense and all. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start doing re-raise as well because I know now she's gonna start getting mad and um, do some big attacks on Beatrix. And there's vicious massacre, and the retribution goes to the uh, the low HP unit, which is our evading Elena. That's a like I said, that's a really big trick is a low HP evasion unit to soak those attacks because they they really really freaking hurt and they messed up some of my earlier runs. Let's reimbue fire. Um. I don't know what we did recently with Ignis. I guess we'll do Golden Tail Soup for the safety. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the base form with Starlight, or old Elena. Um, let's do all her big attacks. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start pushing some big damage now. Try to get try to get the boss hurt as much as we can. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, big damage. There we go. All right. Um, so the boss is definitely gonna start getting real mad now. So we're going to let's eternal light for the re-raise because again, I'm a little concerned here. Let's divine veil. Try to push that. Try to push that gauge as much as we can. And we're gonna use Beatrix to um, to mitigate herself because again, I'm a little concerned that. The boss is gonna get real mad here. Uh, Gilgamesh, let's go ahead and I don't think I don't think we need breaks. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do yeah we don't need breaks. So I'm gonna do a thousand needles here. All right. 
Yeah, it's it's much easier to control this gauge with like actual morale skills. So like Ling and um, yeah, here you go. The boss, boss getting real mad, mana drain and all that. Oh, oh, and there goes Beatrix. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. But the base form is resisting as well. This is why I put resistance gear on the base form. Oh, so many attacks. Please stop. <laughs> yeah, thresholds are thresholds are kinda kind of a thing. Kind of a thing. Alright. Um we gotta get all those buffs back up again. Um let's lasagna and I kinda gotta do a reinforcement, I guess? I don't know. We can maybe we can maybe finish the fight. Oh no 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 we can't. Um. All right, let's let, let, let's let's keep pushing that damage. How's the boss looking here? Uh, breaks are up, and perils up, sword and perils up. Okay, so we're doing good. We're doing good for the moment. Um, so that's all good. Uh, breaks. We're, we're breaks gonna wear off anytime soon. Nah, breaks had another turn. Let's go ahead and thousand needles. Um, let's shift Beatrix, and let's put up cover and mitigation. I don't think the boss is going to do that craziness again this turn. Uh, but just in case, we are going to use Fina to re-raise again. And um, let's do a Blooming Lotus, I think. And let's deal some damage. Alright. Yeah, it's a little tricky doing it budget style. Oh, we got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Once you get, once you get that morale gauge going on your side, morale skills start hitting... So hard. So this Blade of Salvation on the Neo Visions Awakened Alina was well, just beasting the boss once you get that morale on your side. Yeah, so there was the budget run that did um uh we weren't we weren't going for a score. I wish I wish I had a damage breakdown. But uh yeah, so there was a cheap way to I mean, quote unquote, somewhat cheap way to get uh the level ninety nine clear in with, with no modifiers. So if you can't blow up the boss, uh, just a recap, um, you want a magical tank with lots of resistances, both forms, so when she died and re-raised, she was still resisting even with no buffs. That was very important. So base form resisting, shift form resisting, uh, a healer um, or a buffer, you know, Lotus Mage Fina, casting those Divine Veils every turn really helps with morale gauge. If you've got like Ling or Louise, they really help with them. they really help with the morale stuff as well. Uh, Gilgamesh was just a breaker. He just broke every turn. As you saw, the boss um, the boss stopped curing her debuffs when she got below like 70%. So maybe the boss only cures debuffs above 70%. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't have the AI. But just from, you know, watching the boss, it seemed like after 70% she stopped curing her breaks and her, her debuffs. So that was helpful. Um, Starlight Elena, And again, the lowest HP unit you can find... Um, is helpful with evasion because all those cruel retributions went to our evading Elena because her HP was so low. So she soaked all of that. Uh, and she was also a passive provoke. The boss never did a death attack, so I'm not entirely sure. I think the death attacks only happen if you use an LB. We never used a limit first, so the boss never started using death, so that was actually fine. And then, um, you know, Elena, she carried the fight. Uh, this is the skill I was talking about. Um, where is it? Oh, she has so many killers. You have so many skills. Where's her, where's her new skill? Come on. Blade of Salvation. I'm going to show it to you. If I can find it. I can't find it. Really? Blade of Salvation. It shouldn't be this. Here it is. Blade of Salvation. Okay, so if you look here, um, the, the morale bonus at the bottom... It goes from a 70x modifier to a 615 times modifier um, as the boss's morale uh, decreases and yours increases. That's why once the boss got, um, once that morale gauge, we, we, because we casted so many buffs, we pushed that morale gauge so far to the left side, it made Salvation start doing a lot of damage. And it, we, we, we never even got the boss to zero morale, which would have made Elena do crazy, crazy damage. And then Ignis, um, support, just spamming buffs every single turn, it really helps with morale. And yeah, so there was the slow budget way to do the fight if you can't OTK at level 99. 
Um, so recap real quick. Avoid the four bad elements. Don't ever guard. For more safety, don't ever use a limit burst unless, unless you're prepared for it because the boss will power up if you do that. Um, and yeah, use lots of morale attacks and so you can... Uh, get all these power-ups. There you go. Like Resolute Will. We actually never even used these. I didn't even I didn't even think of these skills. Um, yeah, but anyway.